Filmo Mike in the city. Filmo, what's happening, Filmo? Hey, hey, what's good? What's good, man? How many Christmas trees this year, Sasky? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. One, one for each I, room? I don't know. I, I, it's, pro it's probably like six because Sacramento <laughs> Shasky has struck again, my friend. Uh, yesterday we needed, you're talking about, oh, we need somebody on the sideline that can pump them up and whoop de whoop de whoop. And today, Brandon Ayuk's a, a, a number two receiver. Oh, and, great. And, number what's two. tomorrow going to be? Uh, Bonds, Bonds, Bonds shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Come on, man. You're killing me, Saucer Little Shasky. Let's get Kittle involved. You feel me? Let's get him pumped up. Let's get it. Don't he usually get the guys going? Let's hit a little harder. Stop with all these, these side hits. Let's go straight on, smack somebody in the face. That's going to pump people up. You know what I'm saying? Bosa, let's get a sack. Let's wreck some havoc. In the booth, out of booth. I mean, rap seat in the basement, big ticket. I don't care. Let's get the job done for real, for real. We playing teams. They ain't got quarterbacks. They ain't got their best receivers. Guess what? We're losing to them. But we, while we got all these players, we got all these excuses. Let's get the job done. We lost to Cleveland. They didn't have a starting quarterback. Come on, man. We ain't gonna have uh Trump, Trent, uh, Trent Williams for long. We ain't gonna have uh uh oh boy Aaron Banks this week. Jalen Moore's okay. Let's step. Step up, step up to the plate, get the job done. No Sausalito, no Sacramento Shasky. Come back to the city. Filmo, I love Filmo, you. Filmo, Mike. Filmo, Mike. Are you there? Tell me you didn't, yes. you didn't just hang up. Yes. All right, all right. Yes, I'm here. Look, look, look. I love Cameron. Love Cameron. I think Cameron's awesome. I don't think Cameron's on the same level as Jay-Z. That's not a knock on Cameron. That's an assessment. I think that's realistic and fair. Ayuk's an excellent player. He's not on the same level as Tyreek Hill and Justin Jefferson. How many guys are? Like, that's not a knock. That's just being realistic. I got you. I got you. I would call Brandon Ayuk a, a, a young Nas. But it, 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 hey, it okay. is what it is. Okay. Yeah, I don't think anybody's comparing Brandon Ayuk to Tyreek Hill or... I don't know. Where did that come from? Well, I, I, I nobody's comparing that, like, him to Ayuk's those guys. He's a number one. He's a number one. Well, he's there's a number different one. number ones. There's 30 teams. He's a number one on this football team. Well, I see. I view it the way, like. Would I he be a number two on Miami? Uh, Waddle's pretty freaking good. Ayuk's pretty damn good. Again. Waddle's pretty good, dude. I mean, uh, he had more yards. Waddle had more yards last in a pass happy team. Right. Had more yards. Exactly. Than, than Ayuk. But here's what I would say about Miami. Pass happy team. And they're running the ball better than the Niners, who are a run-first team. Exactly. They're averaging over five a pop with Raheem Mostert. Anyone that has Raheem Mostert knows this. Like, they're actually running the ball quite well, shockingly. Brandon Ayuk has 620 receiving yards and a run-first offense that is 27th in passing attempts. He's on pace for over 1,200 yards receiving during a 17-game schedule. That ain't bad. No, I uh, know. That ain't bad at all. We're That's back to back like thousand yard receiver. Him. No, no, we're not. We're not going to do that. Degrees nobody's nobody's going to compare him to Tyreek Hill. It's not that. He's not. He's not Jamar Chase. Look, the way he dominated you know. at practice, it looked like he was going to be taking that ascension into that conversation. And I just feel like it hasn't. But you know what? It though? hasn't hit there. And maybe it but is. You know what? The, maybe it is because they what, don't though? throw the ball. That's not a knock on Brendan Ayuk. When you have lesser competition in front of you, you're supposed to dominate. So Brendan Ayuk gets credit for dominating. If they're not as good as you and they can't cover, then you dominate. Has he been as good as you thought this year? Brendan Ayuk? Yeah. I think he's been excellent. I think he's been excellent. Brendan Ayuk is the least of my worries I, right I always now. feel like I'm left wanting him get more targets. Yes, that's on the quarterback well, and no, the head no, coach. I, that I would agree with. You know? That he's I going would out agree there with. running routes. That I would agree with. You know? With. Brendan Ayuk has been excellent. If anybody deserves an A, Brendan Ayuk deserves an A on this season. I mean, there was a game the other day uh, where ever so everyone gave love to Kirk Cousins. That young wide receiver from USC. Jordan Addison. It felt like they prioritized him more than Ayuk's been prioritized. Right. And that's where I get frustrated. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Verducci, our main man, Verducci. What's happening, Verducci? What's up, everybody? Happy, uh, you know, Thursday. And, uh, you know, first off, I want to give a shout out. I was at the San Jose Sports Hall of Fame. Want to give it up for Lori Fair, Patrick Marlowe, mm. Dave Steve, and Chris Wondolowski that uh, Wondo. got inducted. And it was, yeah, it was Chico cool to be a part of. Got to talk to Chris and uh, Patrick, so it was a privilege. But uh, on to the Niners, man. It, it falls on Shanahan and Lynch here. You knew the biggest issue we had on the offense was the offensive line, and you did nothing to address it. 
And now he has limited time, Purdy, to go ahead and throw the ball. And, you know, the, the, the reality is, is he's still kind of in his rookie year. He's going to make mistakes. But that's on Shanahan to set him up for success. Why isn't Kittle getting the ball more? Yeah, why isn't IU getting more touches? Why aren't we using Mason up the middle rather than throwing CMC up there and running him into the ground? And by the way, you drafted Bell. You know he's electric. Why aren't you getting the ball in his hands? So stop making an excuse for Wilt. Hey, everyone's going to go through an Epsom flows during the season. It's on Shanahan. Look yourself in the mirror. Be accountable. I'm tired of the excuses. Stop leaning back on your extension. And let's go. Bang, bang, not a game. Let's get this win. That's what I'm talking about. And that's how I'm feeling right now. And that's why Sunday when I watch this football game, phone will be down. No pat will be out. Drink will be in my hand. And I don't even drink. I don't even drink alcohol. And I will have something this Sunday, 10 in the morning. What's going on? It's the goo is just like doing all these hand signals as he's walking by. Man, you get distracted very easily. Uh, I didn't know what it was. I uh, didn't know like it was waving, and so I was just uh, looking. So I will I will be chilling on Sunday. It says the guy Watch who's it. distracted by me being distracted. No, I just say, why are you distracted? We're talking to you, and you just look up. It's like, oh, what, 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 well, what, if you see was that Santa Claus? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Brandon Ayuk Possibly. telling me he's open. <laughs> I'm open. I'm open. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> a month ago was all good. <laughs> just a month. It was all good just a month ago. And now look at where we're at. We were in an old studio. <laughs> we're in the old studio. Maybe we need to go back to the old studio. Nah, I'm good. Because we got here. I'm good. And we got real cocky against Cleveland. Curse of the new studio? I'm calling the Have curse of the new studio. Have they won a game in the studio? No, they haven't. Because Spadoni filled in for you uh, when Papa Shasky was getting surgery. Hopefully Papa Shasky. Oh. See, this is the other thing. Papa Shasky just had surgery on his heart. And I know he's doing well. You want to hear? This team ain't good for his heart. So he went and saw this new cardiologist, right, yesterday, my dad. And they go to him, yeah, you know why your heart was so weak? He goes, no, why? Because we think you suffered a heart attack at some point in the in the last couple of years at some <laughs> point. Oh they don't even know. He had a heart attack, and he didn't even know. Jeez. How crazy is that? I worry. I, God I, bless my father. I don't know how he's alive. God's yeah, been looking I, after him. You know him. what? This man, this man should you know have been what? dead a thousand different times. You know what? Absolutely incredible. I mean, he's like Jason Statham. You know what? I mean, he I, really is. I, I worry about that, the heart attacks, personally. I swear I to God, about, the cardiologist told my yeah. mom and dad yesterday or whatever, maybe the day before, we are under the assumption he had a heart attack that went undiagnosed and kept going on. Wow. And they don't even know when. It could have been 20 years ago, 10 years ago. I'm dead serious. I can't well, make this up. Well, I'm telling you what. When I watched the 49ers... This is why I'm I, I'm gonna have to probably start drinking while watching them because I need to calm down watching them. I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack watching this organization, and they've done a lot of great things. But they, this is unlike like the Warriors give me so much joy. They make me smile up and down. Steph Curry, how can you not? I don't even get stressed during crunch time. I'm like, we've got Steph. We'll figure it out a way. But the 49ers right now, I'm feeling my heart right now. Well, you know what? And, my, I'm, and I'm stressed out. I'm just stressed out thinking about Jacksonville. My, <laughs> I said to my dad, I said, Dad, it could only be one of three things of when you suffered this heart attack. Uh, when we went to L.A. and you started packing up your bags early because Jimmy Garoppolo was getting the ball oh back with God. less than a minute to go. Oh, my God. The day they announced that Bochi was out and Kapler was in. Oh, my or Father's Day 2016, when me and him got in almost a physical altercation <laughs> while watching the Warriors, and my dad kept screaming, you can't throw the ball away behind your back with two minutes to go, and yelling at Iggy to dunk the ball when LeBron blocked him from behind. Yeah, it is, you know. It's only one of those three moments. I told you guys a couple of weeks ago, and it goes. I want Iguodala. Oh, shut up. She goes, uh, <laughs> she told me, she I, looked at sub site. And she said, I know why women live longer than men. It's because you guys are too involved in sports. Because she was stressed that Brock Purdy had a concussion. And she was like, I, I my body's not right. I it's just ah, oh, oh, this is too stressful. So she I should be it. on the injury report tomorrow. No, she should be. She was stressed out. You know, and I, I gotta stop watching. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? When it comes to football this Sunday, I'm just gonna chill. I'm not gonna yell. I'm gonna be all right. And when I come in Monday morning, I call despite what that. happens. I'm going to be even kill Shut all throughout up. the show because it's not good for my heart. It I'm really having isn't. a meltdown. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this this man, I love you. Is your nickname Harvey Dent? You are the most two-faced, lion, capping dude I know. 
I don't. I, I chill during Niner games. What are you guys talking about? This is coming from the maker of the biggest dent in the old 95.7 <laughs> The Game studio green room history. <laughs> from the maker of I will slap you sideways, young Nash, well, during well, the Super well, Bowl. Well, time out. Time out. Super time Bowl's out. different, though. No, no. Well, time, Nash was talk, popping off at the end of the first half. And at the end of the second half, he was popping off at me, talking about, you don't know football, shut the hell up, blah, blah, blah. And then he got into the studio, and he started telling me, folks, Bonte, are you ready to go? I'm like, dude, get out the studio. I'm ready to be a pro. Let's go. I, I, I want to talk. And he kept perping off, and I was like, dude, if you don't shut the hell up, I'm going to slap the hell out of you. Straight up. That woke his game up. Tommy Bear hugged him He's out the of best. I, he, the that best. woke his game up. Sometimes you gotta. Then, sometimes you gotta check somebody. The best you know part what I'm about all of that was we used to do double overtime after us, which would be Tommy Nash and Covey, and then Covey shows up out of nowhere <laughs> with the shades on. What did I miss? Everything, literally well, everything. Don't you know it because I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say names. But I remember Super Bowl Fifty Four. <laughs> We're all watching it at the green room, and before the third, the third to fifteen play. I heard some people chattering about parades and celebrations. Uh, I'm not going to say names. Spadoni was right there. Did I? Spadoni knows what I I'm talking about. That. There was a lot of celebrating going on. And I was like, boys, this game ain't over. And then third and 15 happened. Well, you and, and me almost changed. fought each other over whether or not they should call a timeout oh, with yeah. two minutes to go. And Lynch is going like this. You're like, see, Lynch is doing it too. Remember that? I'm throwing up the tees. I've never me? seen a coach, coach scared in the biggest game. You had a chance to double up, double up. Well, they did Nipsey throw a hustle, bomb. Double that up. was the worst OPI call I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah, but, but then you Alvin got a field Harper goal. Harper thought that was a bad call. You're playing to run the clock out and going to halftime. So, yeah, I, that's when I decided. I was like, yeah, I'm definitely not watching games with anybody anymore because this sucks. But you're so calm and mature now. Well, I just watch the games by myself. You don't know what goes out of my house. Shout out Rocco. I um, enough. Oh, Rocco. His <laughs> wife films him screaming and yelling as the dog and the girls are in the corner, like scared. Um, Love you, Rocco. But come on, you're, you're listening delusional to, just like I am. You're listening to 95.7 Game, KGMT, FMNHC, West San Francisco, always live on the free Odyssey app. Download the Odyssey app, a favorite 95.7 Game for the best and most up-to-date sports coverage. Curse. And don't forget that you can also watch this every single day on our YouTube and Twitch stream, sponsored by our very good friends. At First NorCal Credit Union, just log on to search 9570K. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel while you are there. Also, shout out to the Comcast Business X Line. And this is what I'm talking about again. Our very good friend, Kenny Carried Away. Kenny Caraway. All of a sudden, he... Big win last night listen, for the Kings. Listen, listen. I didn't hear from him for about a week after they got swept by Houston and let overtime. Dylan Brooks blow. Dude, they needed overtime to beat the Portland Trailblazers. Portland Trailblazers are not even trying to win a game. Win. The Warriors have won games with hey, a lot of star players Portland's out. not even trying to win. And I almost stumbled into one yesterday. But here's KC. This dude, he just texted me, texts both of us. This dude, Bonte, hates Kyle Shanahan. Come on, bro. <laughs> People want to help. They want to put Kyle. They want to call him a genius. But I critique the genius, and all of a sudden, I hate him. Who? Okay. If I was Kyle, that's but to, see, that. but to your point, just 15 minutes ago, I say things about players, and all of a sudden, I hate them. No one says I never get to genius, get away with though. it. I'm the journalist here, for crying out loud. Kyle Shanahan. Let, let's let's debunk some things. Ayuk's not a true number one. Kyle's not a genius, and I'm not sure Brock is a franchise quarterback. Kyle Shanahan, point blank, I mean, did not give a damn. Said, "Hey, Steve Wilkes, here's this cow trade coming down in Redwood City. I'm gonna toss you right in front of the train and let it run you yeah, over." I shouldn't joke about that. I should not joke about yeah, that. I'm sorry, that, but, but I, I get I apologize. What you're all right, I'll, 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 we got kids in the yeah, car. Just because I, yeah, yeah. All right, I know sorry. some. Yeah, all right. My bad. Oh my god. Thank you. But basically, Michael. Kyle Shanahan threw. Speaking. He basically speaking just, of someone who's level headed. <laughs> listen, Michael Irvin coming listen, over the top rope. <laughs> listen, C books had to sit up there in a podium and explain himself because of Shanahan, and even Crocker came out here and said, "Yeah, that was not right." I, I would I would love to see. What did Baldy say? A complete if I was character Kyle, change from Steve that. Wilkes. He's just <laughs> there you go. Dudes. He's like he's like pointing to his veins, like he's got ice in his veins Wait, after every call. Dude, saluting Cro guys after they're Cro making hits. Crocker, how funny would that be? Crocker, Baldy, you know, like Baldy said. Wait, can you play that Baldy cut Steve again? Steve Wilkes, I'm him. If I was Kyle, I wouldn't have said that. See, all I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, so. Say it. Yeah. Say, I'm uh, sorry, sir. So, so you know what? KC talking about who does Bonte hate more, Shanahan or Sabotis? Listen, Sabotis is Sabotis. I don't hate him. I love him. Because when he's on the floor, guess what? One five flat. One five flat. Let's get 
Sabota's involved in every pick and roll because that's a bucket for us. So I love what Sabota's plays. When he doesn't play, game six, KC, when Sabota's is off the floor, all of a sudden the Kings are playing better. Go figure. Look at Kyle Shanahan is a really good coach. A really, really, really good coach. The word genius, though, is exempt from anyone else to be able to use that label. It is only for one man, and it's for Bill Walsh, right? And for a variety of reasons, which we don't need to get into. So when someone said he's a genius, yeah, well, that person's an idiot. There's only one genius. It's Bill Walsh. Kyle's really good at what he does. He is. Can he win the big one? We'll see. But he's really good at what he does, and a lot of teams would line up to have him, and he's done great things with the Niners. And I'm hoping they could figure it out this year, coming out of the bye like they've done time and time again, and get this ship right. I love Demonis Sabonis. Keep playing him, especially against the Golden State Warriors. That's a bucket. Uh, Robin San Leandro, I agree with you, though, Shasky. I do agree with that point. Robin San Leandro, what's happening? Hey. What's hey, up, good Robin? morning, fellas. Good morning, good morning. Hey, man. Uh, oh, Shasky? Ayuk is a number one, bro. He's a number one on any other team. Also, too, it's pass heavy. We run a lot, bro. Come on, man. Also, too, hey, Doug's looking good. Doug's looking good. We took off L last night, but we're going to be all right. We're going to be fine. Niners, bang, bang. And Bonte, I don't even know you do like that, but I know you're not going to be sitting down being, like, calm during the game. You know you're going to be Thank standing you. up watching. It's like, we else. Thank you know you're you going to be clapping. <laughs> Throwing hands, you're gonna be like upset if we make a bad play, but then you're gonna be rah rah like if we do no, good. No, I, I see, I build up to it. First half, I'm cool, calm, and collected. Uh -huh. I'm just sitting back, relaxing, uh, sipping tea, coming, sipping yeah. tea, sipping some He's coffee. He's so full of crap, he doesn't <laughs> even believe the words hey, Rob, that are coming Rob, out of his mouth. Rob, be chilling. I'm chilling because you know what, Rob? I'm tired of all the talking. It's about that action, <laughs> and I'm tired of the yeah, talking. Yeah, sounds so calm. What what I say about that action, boss? Let's go. Hey, I, I will disagree with you though. Ayuk is not a number one on any okay. other team. He's not on Buffalo. He's not on Miami. He's not on Cincinnati. Okay, like we can go right down the list. He's not on Seattle. He's not on the Rams. Uh, like he's a really good player. He's on the but Cardinals. Like, he is on the Bears. He's in. Okay, on, the Bears suck. He's on. He's on Minnesota. Got Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson. Come uh, on. Yeah, I know. Green Bay. He's not the number one on Green Bay. No, he is. But Green Bay lost you know, their best receiver in Devontae. You know, Denver? Probably. Sutton's good, but I would take Ayuk. Ayuk's good, man. I He might be a number one on the Chiefs. Well, if like I say Justin would Jefferson. Chiefs? Would he be a number one on the Chiefs? Oh, my well, God. Well, Kelsey's he the be. one. But yeah, but, I agree but with Ayuk would. Oh, my God. If Ayuk was with Mahomes. Yeah, but, I mean, you could say that Maybe about. Ayuk doesn't want to sign here. How, many, like, other, yo, how many other wide receivers around the league are like, man, if I could play with Mahomes. By the way, I'll Ask be Juju. full disclosure. Full disclosure, I'll be in Vegas for Sunday. I'll be back that night. Oh. I'm going to the Raiders. High rolling? Game, so. No, I'm not high rolling. Big Dog has season tickets. So the the PJ, NetJet? No, no, no. You and Rory McElroy? No, no, I wish. I, I thought about taking Spirit Airlines. It was $44 to fly did out you, of Vegas. Did you see Rory McElroy's first pitch at the, well, I guess he went out onto the Boston Fenway uh, field and was throwing the ball? No, I didn't see that. It was pretty bad. Yeah, I, I, I'm not paying too much attention to. Uh, so you're going to Vegas. I'm going to Vegas in the morning. Play some bets, chill out, watch the Niners on the big screen, and I'm oh. just gonna be relaxed. Wow, I'm just gonna be chilling. You got it like that, huh? No, I don't have it like that. I don't have it like that. I don't have it like that. I save my money though. I don't go anywhere. I don't. I don't do anything. All I do is work, 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 work. Change diapers. Work, 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 work. Change diapers. Uh, can't open the cow before the break. Can't open the cow. What's happening? You're on the roast. What's happening, guys? What's happening, guys? Y'all, y'all ailing me this morning, man. I'm feeling you and everything. <laughs> and uh, Shasky, I'm a Cameron fan, <laughs> so I'm feeling you on that. But if you really want to party with me, oh, put you. your hands on my eyes to see. It's all about Busta Busta Bust the Bust. Rhymes. But anyway, guys, Ooh. I think <laughs> I think, man, I think Brock, I think Brock Purdy, man, I think he's shell shocked. And I don't, I don't know if it's the trust of uh, offensive line or the defense. But, dude, you just got to sit there and wipe it off, man. And if you don't see anything, don't leave with your eyes. Go ahead and just take them steps, man, and just be a mobile quarterback. And getting to my Warriors, guys, I'm going to be fair, man. Look, I just want the referees to be consistent, man. Yep. I don't care where it ends, like, but just be consistent, man. 
stop sitting up here letting Jokic and everybody sit up there, put their shoulders and elbow my players all up in their chest and everything, and we can't do the same thing. Looney gets called for some crazy fouls when he's sitting up here just trying to play. They sit up here telling everybody, oh, you got to play on the inside, and they, that's why they're getting these kind of calls, and the Warriors are getting calls fouled, and when they show the replay, they're not even close to the players, and they let them get away with it because what happened to Steph Curry, man, that's blatant disrespect. That was a goal team all day long. And then they don't call it, but they ain't going to call it at the other end when that, only, that ain't what it was. And Steph lost his mind, I lost my mind. But the young guys, they did good. They got us in the game. I didn't like them taking them out early and everything like that. And I didn't like closing with Chris Paul because he slowed the ball down. Mm. And then Jokic just sit up there and pass the ball to the man in the middle and went right over Chris Paul's head. I didn't like that, man. They should have kept Brandon in. They should have kept Jackson in. They would have sit up there and done it, and they would have sit there and finished. And Steve, hey, sir. Hey, over the cow. Kid over the cow. We're 6-3, baby. Aren't you feeling good? Thumbs are back. But what I'm trying to say, I just don't want those same mistakes on closing games no doubt. like last year. Bonte. I hear you. I hear you, Kate Obertacow. We're doing well.